The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. like this go by. Look, only $110. Formerly $160. That means I save $50. If we keep right on walking to the supermarket, you can save $110. Oh. <laughs> but this is such a bargain. I just gotta have it, Viv. Oh, bonjour. 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 May I help you? Well, I, I really were just browsing. Well, of course. Uh, would you like to see something in mink? Yeah, me. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, Madam Fifi, we, we really didn't intend to buy anything, but uh, uh, actually, that, that coat in the window does look interesting. Oh, Madame, you could not have made a wiser choice. Why, this is the biggest bargain of our entire sale. As you can see, our price has been greatly reduced. Well, I, I'm not really looking for a bargain, but I'll try it on. Would you hold on to that uh -huh. for me, dear? <laughs> I don't I don't hold much stock in bargains as a rule, but uh, we're just shopping today, you know. Oh, what kind of fur is this? Well, it's a sable dyed mink affiliated Orictolagus cuniculus. <laughs> What's a rictologus caniculus? <laughs> it sounds like some kind of fish. <laughs> oh, mais no, 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 madame. It's lapin. Lapin? That's French for rabbit. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, how does it look? Magnifique, madame. That's French for terrible, lady. <laughs> the, the sleeve seems so short. <laughs> This coat for Gypsy Rosalie. <laughs> well, that can be fixed in no time. It was just so done temporarily. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, excuse me. What? Yeah, yeah. Viv, this is a bargain. It's rabbit. It doesn't look like rabbit. It couldn't look more like rabbit if it wrinkled its nose and said, "Yeah, what the?" <laughs> Jealous because I saw it first. Oh. Now look, I'm just gonna play it cool. I, I don't want to seem too enthusiastic, and maybe I can get it for less than 110. You should. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. Oh, that's all right. And now, do you want the code delivered, or will you take it with you? Well, actually, this isn't what I had in mind. It's it's uh, not really a very good color for me, and uh, it doesn't fit me. It, it, it just isn't me. Oh, but, madame, this coat is you. Why, it is so much you, I will let you have it for $105. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, that's playing it cool. Oh, and the $5 for repairing the sleeve makes uh, $110. Nice going. Well, uh, I'll send it to you this evening. Thank you. You, you can send it to uh, Mrs. Lucille Carmichael, 132 Post Road. Oh, dear. I seem to be a little short on cash this morning. Viv, darling, you don't happen to have $110 on you, do you? No. How did you know? <laughs> oh, don't bother, Mrs. Uh, Carmichael. Oh, you can stop in tomorrow and pay for oh, it. Oh, thank you very much. I will have the sleeves fixed. Au revoir et merci. Merci, merci. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Oh, don't bother, Mrs. Carmichael. You can stop in tomorrow and pay for it. With what? 
You haven't got $110. Oh. You haven't even got 110 carrots to feed that rabbit. Oh. I will have the money, Viv. Mr. Mooney will be happy to advance it to me when I tell him that I saved $50 on a rabbit. Oh, like I said, you're just jealous because I saw it first. Oh, well, let's go home and build it a hutch. Huh? <laughs> gonna bother you today. In fact, I have done something that should make you very happy. You have done something to make me happy? Yeah. You know what I've done? You've taken a 99-year lease on a house in Cairo. <laughs> no. That would have made me happy. <laughs> oh, now I have just made $50. You have made fifty dollars? Yeah, didn't I, Viv? Well, let's say you saved fifty dollars. Well, a dollar earned is a dollar saved. I just saved fifty dollars, so that means I earned fifty dollars. Now, aren't you pleased with me, Mr. Mooney? Pleased? I'm flabbergasted. I knew you would be. Now, Mr. Mooney, as a banker, you certainly know that you have to spend money to make money, don't you? Uh, not necessarily. Well, sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. Well, I do. No, you don't. Now, please, Mr. Mooney, I need an advance of $110. What for? Oh, I was afraid he'd ask that. <laughs> I need $110 to make the 50. I'd give you the $110 if you'd move to Cairo. Oh, please be reasonable. Now, I have to have the money. They're fixing it and everything. They're fixing what? The left bath. That's French for rabbit. <laughs> Mrs. Karma. You spent $110 for a rabbit? Why don't you eat steak like everybody else? Oh, it isn't to eat, it's to wear. Now, please approve the advance for me. I'm afraid I can't. Well, you know, I could take my business to another bank. Promises, promises. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to leave. I'll be gone for a week at a banker's convention in Bridgeport. Oh, but you can't do that. You can't go away and leave me unlooked after. I wouldn't dream of leaving you unlooked after. The bank has already arranged for someone to take my place while I'm gone. He is Mr. Myers of our Jamestown branch, and he is sitting right in that office. So you go on in there and tell your sad story to him. Oh, I think it only fair to warn you, however, that if you can get the time of day from Mr. Myers, then you can get blood from a stove. <laughs> well, ta-ta, and lots of luck. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney. Oh, well, what do we do now? We tackle Mr. Myers. Now, you heard what Mr. Mooney said about him. Well, I've got to try. What have I got to lose? A French rabbit. Oh, come on. <laughs> you just go back there and foreclose that mortgage and tell them they won't get one more penny out of this bank. Whew, that guy's colder than a cucumber. <laughs> well, shall we go back to Madame Fifi's and cancel the rabbit? No, I don't want to. And stop calling it a rabbit. I just got to make him give me that money. Now, Lucy. Well, it's my money, isn't it? Well, not exactly. You've already spent your money. Oh, that's beside the point. Banks are in the money business, and I keep my money here, and they lend my money to strangers so they can just advance me some of my own money, even though I am overdrawn. Now, come on. <laughs> Mr. Myers, it just so happens that it is my money and it is my business what I do with my money, so you can just pick up your pen and authorize an advance for me of $110. I can't believe it's you! <laughs> Mr. Mooney told me to watch out for a Lucille Carmichael, but I had no idea it was you. You didn't? Well, your name wasn't Carmichael when I knew you. What was it? Well, you weren't married then. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm Vivian Bagley. Oh, Vivian. How, do, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> you know, I knew you the minute you walked in. How could I ever forget that hair, those eyes, that face? We were good friends years and years ago. 
Well, I had an idea you'd met before. <laughs> and you know, I'll bet Lucy knew me the minute she saw me. Would you like to bet $110? Uh, Viv, well, of course I knew you, Mr. Uh, Myers. Call me Vinny. Oh, Lucy, I can't tell you what a thrill this is. Oh, <laughs> oh it takes me back to those glorious, glorious days. What days? Yeah, what days? Lake Hiawatha. Lake Hiawatha? Well, I haven't been there since I was 14 years old. That's right. You were 14, and I was 17. And Mrs. Bagley, we were in love. Uh... Uh... <laughs> of course, it was just puppy love. But you know something? I don't think I ever really quite got over it. Did you? Me? Oh, no, I still love puppies. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, we used to walk around the lake holding hands. Yeah, 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 there was a lake there. And we sat under a sycamore tree. Yeah, there were a lot of trees, yeah. And we carved our initials on the tree. Oh. Do you remember the day we found the little rabbit? There's an opening if I ever heard it. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Myers, I mean, Vinny, uh, I I'd like to talk to you. Oh, Lucy, there's nothing I'd rather do than sit and reminisce with you. Uh, <laughs> how about tonight? Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, how, how would you like to drop by about uh, 8 o'clock? I'll be there. Oh, fine. <laughs> uh, Vinny. Yes? I need a teensy-weensy little advance on my allowance. $110. A hundred and ten dollars? Yeah. Uh, well, shall we discuss that tonight while we're reminiscing? Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later. Oh, Lucy. Yes? Do you remember the name you used to call me, Love Bug? Love Bug? No, that's what I called you. Oh. Don't you remember the pet name you called me? She'd better. <laughs> uh, why, of course I remember. What was it? Oh, but, uh, the pet name I used to call you, yeah. <laughs> Don't you worry now, I remember it. Well, say it. Well, uh, oh, I do want to say it in front of strangers. <laughs> Besides, if I tell you now, maybe you won't come by tonight. I'll tell you later. I'll see you at eight. So long. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, love bug. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, I'll see you at eight. <laughs> Did you find any old diaries or any pictures or anything that'd give you a clue to his nickname? No, oh, all I found was that green umbrella that I accused Audrey Simmons of keeping last year, and the yellow one I made her give me in return. <laughs> oh, Lucy, this is terrible. I have a feeling if you don't remember his pet name, you're gonna have a rough time getting that $110 out of him. That's right. You know, I usually have a, a wonderful memory. I remember Lake Hiawatha, I remember the hotel, I remember uh, big sycamore trees, I just can't remember him. Hey, I got an idea. What? I'll throw some nicknames at you, you see if any one of them rings a bell. Okay. How about that? Hurry up, though, because uh, he's going to be here any minute. Uh, cutie. No. Uh, cuddles. No. Lollipop. No. Uh, uh skinny. No. Uh, Tarzan. Tarzan. Now, really, Viv, does he look like a Tarzan to you? Well, not to me, but to an ape he might. <laughs> This isn't gonna work. We're no, gonna have to think of something else. We, well, what we need is a plan. And we need it fast. Hey! What? Listen. Yeah? A few minutes before nine, uh -huh. I will go upstairs. Yeah. And you get Vinny into the kitchen. Yes. And then when the clock strikes nine, you look startled and say, What was that? What was that? That's right. Uh huh. Then you run back in here. And I will be lying right there by the coffee table. Oh? Yeah, it will look like I have tripped on the stairs yeah. and staggered all the way down here and hit my head on the coffee table. Yes. Now, I will be out, see? And, and when you see me, you bring me to. Uh-huh. And you scream. Scream. Yeah. Ah! Oh, well, I know you don't want to scream. Yes. All right, then both of you rush over to me and bring me to. Yes. And you will discover that I'm all right, uh -huh. except I have amnesia. 
amnesia? <laughs> yeah, I won't be able to remember a thing. I won't even know who I am. Oh, Lucy, do you think that'll work? Well, why not? I, I can't be expected to remember his pet name if I can't even remember my own. That is a wonderful plan. Now, remember, I'm the stroke and I be with you. bright blue dress. Oh, yes, with green lace sleeves. And yellow buttons. <laughs> and red bows. And it had fur on the bottom. <laughs> all on one dress? <laughs> oh, Viv, you didn't see all that because I wore a pink polka dot cape over it. <laughs> you know, that was the first time you called me by my pet name. <laughs> oh, come on, Lucy, say that name again. Uh, Lucy, it's almost 9 o'clock. Oh, oh, will you excuse me, Vinny? I have to go up and check the children. Oh, well, don't be long, love bug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Vinny, would you help me carry these things out to the kitchen, please? Oh, of course. Be glad to. I just can't wait to hear her say your pet name. Oh, neither can I. Tell me what it is. Oh, I'd rather not. Oh, come on now. We're alone. I won't tell a soul. No, I want Lucy to have the pleasure. All right. I'll bet a nickel it was dimples. You owe me a nickel. <laughs> if, if you really want to bet, why don't you try Poopsie? Your pet name was Poopsie. No, you owe me a dime. crush on a boy, didn't you? Yeah. What was his name? Bobby Edwards. Did you have a pet nickname for him? Oh, sure. What was it? The Fink. <laughs> oh, no. You better get to bed, Chris. School tomorrow. But, Mother, it's only one minute to nine. One minute to nine? What's the matter? Oh, I, I gotta be out by nine. Out where? Out cold. <laughs> I mean, not, nothing. You get to bed, dear. Come on now, school tomorrow. It sounded like somebody falling. Did the clock strike nine? No. Well, then you didn't hear anybody falling. <laughs> but, but I could have sworn that... What was that? <laughs> no, someone fell and hit her head on the coffee table. <laughs> Well, there she is. What's she doing over there? She's supposed to be over here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, oh, she's unconscious. Oh, no, 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 no. She's she's just uh, lost her memory, that's all. Oh, how do you know? Oh, well, well look at her. Uh, oh, I know amnesia when I see it. Oh, I think we'd better get a doctor. Oh, no, 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 no. She'll be all right in a few minutes. You just go out there in the kitchen and get me some smelling salts. They're in a little blue box over the sink. Yes. What are you doing over here? You're supposed to be over there. <laughs> Here we are. Yes, Here that'll are. do it. Now, Come on now, honey. Oh, I'll bet she yeah. can't remember a thing. Oh, uh, not a thing when she comes poor. to. Come on, dear. Here, oh, here, home, here. Home, here, let's home, get her home. over on the couch. Let Come right. on, honey. Let, let, we'll sit you over on the couch. Come on, honey. Oh, up you go. Up the daisy. There you go, honey. Now, come on. Why, you're home, dear. Who are you? 
I'm Vivian Bagley, your best friend, and you and I live here together, dear. I never heard of you. Doesn't she remember anything? Who are you? Go away. I'm Vinnie Myers. Go away. Oh, don't pay any attention to her. Go now. away. She'll be ah. in a few minutes. Oh, don't you think we better call a doctor? Oh, no, we don't can't afford a doctor. Me. I'll get a wet towel. Yes, get a wet towel. That'll help. <laughs> oh, oh, you're just doing great. If... <laughs> what are you going up here for? I want to go home. Oh, now, Lucy, you can cut out the act. There's just the two of us here. Where am I? Who are you? Oh, Lucy, come off of it. He can't hear us. Ah! <laughs> ah! Shh, you'll wake up the children. <laughs> children? What children? Our children. You mean you and I are married? <laughs> She? Oh, she's worse than ever. <laughs> Get that thing away from me. It's dripping all over. Oh. I'll get it. Now, wait a minute. Get that away from me. No, because you... What are you trying to do, drown me? Delivery for Mrs. Carmichael. Come on, them feet. Get Thank away from so me. Much. I want to call the police. Lucy. I want to call the police. Lucy, here. Ah! What's that mangy-looking thing? <laughs> Why, that's your Arachnologus canuculus. <laughs> Lady... I'd like to know who you are, what you're talking about. <laughs> Will you cut that out? I'm getting soaked to the skin. What are you trying to do, drown me? Lucy. Fun is fun, but I can play this game too, you know. Sir, if this woman is your wife, you have terrible taste. <laughs> Does it? I'm going to tell him everything. This is all just an act. She hasn't lost her memory. Watch, I'll show you. Uh, Lucy, don't you remember buying this this morning? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, then be nice to her. She's got amnesia. Oh, she hasn't got any more amnesia than you have or I have. I'll show you. Lucy, I'm going to take this back and you'll never see it again. Fine, take it back to the zoo. <laughs> Do you mean to say that you don't care if I take this back? No! Call a doctor! What happened? She really has amnesia. Lucy and her right mind have never let me take that back to the store. Don't just stand there, go do something. I'll, I'll, I'll go get yes, another wet get towel. get another wet towel. <laughs> Lucy? Don't you remember me? No. Well, don't you remember anything? No. Don't you remember your children? Mr. Mooney? I have a child named Mr. Mooney. <laughs> Oh, her amnesia's gone. She called me by my pet name, Drippy. <laughs> oh, Lucy, I can't tell you what memories this brings back to me, hearing you call me Drippy again. Lucy! <laughs> You gave me the thrill of my life when you called me Drippy. Drippy? I called you Drippy? Huh? Drippy? Oh, Drippy! Ah! <laughs> oh, just hearing you call me Drippy again gives me goose pimples all over. Love bug. Oh, I was beginning to think you'd forgotten me. Oh, well, now, the minute I saw you at the bank, I said to myself, there's Drippy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I, I won't have any difficulty getting a uh, teensy-weensy advance on my allowance, will I, Drippy Whippy? Oh, the money was all taken care of as soon as you asked for it. Oh, Lucy, in well, that case, you won't have to send your rabbit back. <laughs> my car! It came while you were in the twilight zone. <laughs> Here, I'll help you. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Well. Uh, ah! Ha! What's the matter? Ha! What's the matter? Ha! Oh, Lucy. Oh. oh, it's only 
a pin. For a minute, I thought Bugs Bunny bit me. <laughs> The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. wanted a fur coat and I can't let a bargain like this go by. Look, only $110. Formerly $160. That means I save $50. If we keep right on walking to the supermarket, you can save $110. Oh. <laughs> but this is such a bargain. I just gotta have it, Viv. Oh, bonjour. 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 May I help you? Well, I, I really were just browsing. Well, of course. Uh, would you like to see something in mink? Yeah, me. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, Madam Fifi, we, we really didn't intend to buy anything, but uh, uh, actually, that, that coat in the window does look interesting. Oh, Madame, you could not have made a wiser choice. Why, this is the biggest bargain of our entire sale. As you can see, our price has been greatly reduced. Well, I, I'm not really looking for a bargain, but I'll try it on. Would you hold on to that uh -huh. for me, dear? <laughs> I, don't, I don't hold much stock in bargains as a rule, but uh, we're just shopping today, you know. Oh, what kind of fur is this? Well, it's a sable dyed mink affiliated Oryctolagus cuniculus. <laughs> oh, what's a Rictolagus caniculus? <laughs>